There's almost nothing that I love more in this world than a really, really good push-up, and that's for many reasons. First of all, if you're anything like me, you probably spend a lot of your time lying on the ground in despair, and you need to be able to push yourself back up so you can get up and conquer the day. Second of all, you never know you're going to be challenged to a spontaneous push-up contest, and not that that's ever happened to me, but if it were to ever happen to me, I will be hashtag always ready. So I get this question all the time, specifically from women, asking how they can progress their push-up so they can do it all the way on the ground, and luckily for you, the push-up is one of the most regressible and progressible exercises out there. I don't know if those two things are actually words, but I'm going to go with it. Buckle up for a second here, queen, because we're about to do something shocking, aka put that physics class that you took in high school to good use for once in your life. When you're on the ground doing push-ups, your body's exactly perpendicular to gravity, and as you change the angle of your body to gravity, you're going to change the difficulty of the push-up. If you can't do a push-up on the ground, change the elevation of your hands. The more vertical you are, the less of your weight is in your hands, the easier the push-up, easy peasy, love and squeezy. Choose a height of the surface where you can do six to eight reps for three to four sets with moderate difficulty, and as you get better at that, you can move the height of the surface lower and lower until you're all the way back on the ground. Remember that when you're doing a push-up, your entire body should be even more tense in my mental state at the moment, and your butt should be squeezed as if you're pinching a quarter in between your butt cheeks. We don't want no sloppy floppy push-ups around here. Stay strong, queen.